the best of Wanbo projectors. The Wanbo T6 Max, look how I improved its brightness on my big gray screen. Enter and we begin. Digital greetings to all. I am your friend Javier Guerrero and today I bring you the most powerful projector in the Wanbo series, the popular Wanbo T6 Max. A brighter LCD projector, new processor, more RAM and very good image quality, especially on a gray screen. The Wanbo series is well known for all its compact projectors at a reasonable cost. The evolution of its models is in proportion to its brightness power in ANSI lumens as you see here and precisely because of that increase in brightness, it is that they increase the price of each projector. Today we will know the most powerful Wanbo, which is this jewel of a projector that will surprise you. Let's go with your unboxing. This is how the Wanbo T6 Max projector that I bought at Banggood arrived and here with Rick I am going to review it. Although apparently Rick is not very interested in projectors. And this is the Wanbo T6 Max 350 projector that I bought on sale for $285 including shipping and believe me it was a good deal because its normal price ranges from $330 to $400. As it is a very delicate projector, it comes well protected and completely surrounded by foam panels. The first thing we found is the projector, which is much heavier than its predecessors. I also found a small use and care manual, a very special voltage adapter since it provides 19 volts and 5 amps. That is, 95 watts of power, if not where is that shine coming from? An AC power cable for the adapter and a remote control whose design is the same as all Wanbo projectors, but this one includes an additional button for the voice assistant, buttons for electronic focus and an infrared transmitter. Finally, we have the Wanbo T6 Max projector in its well-known compact design, but with much more beautiful finishes. When viewed from the front, this projector looks the same as its brothers, but when placed on its side it surprises with its depth, and due to its larger size, it integrates a strap to carry it, since it also has a considerable weight. At the front is its 5cm glass lens, the largest of all one bow. Underneath it has this grill through which a fan sucks fresh air to keep the temperature safe, at the top it has its only power button, on the sides it has these chrome locks that decorate its leather handle. And on the back is its power supply connection. Two USB 2.0 inputs, one analog audio output, one analog audio and video input and an HDMI 2.0 input. In addition, it has this large grill through which it expels hot air and which is also the sound outlet for its 10 watts of stereo power. Lastly, on the bottom it has four rubber feet and one quarter inch nut to put it on a tripod. The Wanbo T6 Max is a little above a mid-range, I would call it an upper middle range and that is why it is the most expensive of the Wanbo projectors. It has a modern and sophisticated appearance and with its almost 2 kilos it is preferable to transport it with its handle for more security. This projector is the minimum you need to set up a true quality home theater. Thanks to its brightness of 550 ANSI lumens you will have a great and immersive experience that is very complete and of course it has very good technical specifications. It is of the lead type with LCD projection technology. Integrates a 4-core Amlogic T972 processor. Integrates 2GB of RAM and 16GB of storage. Projection size up to 200 inches. Full HD native resolution, 4 Kelvin and HDR plus upscaling support. It has a brightness of 550 ANSI lumens. Integrates Android 9 operating system. Integrates dual band WIFI. Integrates Bluetooth 5.0. Integrates manual electronic focus. Integrates four-point keystone correction. Integrates automatic vertical correction. It has two speakers of five watts each. And it has a LED with a useful life of up to 20,000 hours. I know that in addition to seeing this review, you also want to know where to buy it, although I have to tell you that this projector is not for every pocket. If you do not want to risk it and want to buy it within your country, you will have to add the shipping costs, taxes and the seller's profit and that makes it more expensive. I looked for it in many stores in my country and the cheapest I found was about $400 when there is stock as you are seeing here. But other stores offer it for over $530, which is an exorbitant price and in Mercado Libre it is also very expensive. But beware of those suspicious offers under $250 from sellers with no reputation bar. 
A Wanbo T6 Max, not even in China itself, costs $250. It is most likely a used, stolen, or confiscated product for taxes. It is best to buy it online since as far as I know, the projectors are not prohibited products, nor are they restricted by customs. I bought it in a Banggood offer for $290 and here I show you what it cost me, what I paid and the payment confirmation. AliExpress is also an excellent purchase option, since there are many more sellers and more offers and in the description of the video I leave you the purchase links at the best price as always. Since the Wanbo T6 Max weighs almost 2 kilos, you should make sure you use a good tripod for it. The truth is that this one does not convince me much, but it is the only one I have and that is why I will be careful to adjust it very well. After turning it on with all the light in my room, you will see that it is not well appreciated and that it needs half a light to be able to enjoy it. Since despite the fact that it is 550 lumens, it is still not enough to use it in fully illuminated spaces, but rather from medium light to below. The T6 Max integrates Android 9 and as you can see the interface looks a lot like that of certified Android TV, but it's not. It is easy to use this interface because it is already known, it is very fast and it also integrates the Play Store with hundreds of applications. But if you go into the Play Store settings and then go into Play Protect, you'll see that it says uncertified device. But still, this Android 9 is a fast operating system and it brings many useful applications, although since it is not certified, streaming applications will only be seen in SD or HD and not in their maximum resolution, and that is why I use the projectors with a TV stick or a TV box. In addition, it has a configuration menu very similar to that of Android TV, making it very easy to use. From here they can connect to their WIFI network, connect a device via HDMI, switch to their language like I'm doing now, adjust video options like projection method, helpful four-point keystone correction, and electronic zoom to zoom in, and reduce projection without having to move the projector. And you will also see that in memory I have 9GB free of the 16 that it has integrated. At two meters and a half from the screen you can achieve a projection of 100 inches. Be careful, that flickering in the projection is due to the desynchronization of my camera, because this flickering is not seen live. As you can see, even though my room is 60% illuminated, you can see the projection clearly. Without a doubt, it is the brightest projector I have reviewed to date. Its 550 ANSI lumens generate much more vivid images. In addition, the Wanbo T6 Max does not have a focus wheel, because the focus is electronic and is done directly from the remote control. If I darken my room a little more and leave it at 20% lighting, see how the projection improves, the images gain more brightness and that increases the viewing experience. But if I turn off my living room completely, you will see the true projection power of this Wanbo T6 Max, the images are great very clear and the colors are quite good. I am not exaggerating friends, this projector is an excellent purchase for those who can afford it, you will not regret it because, even if you increase the size of the screen, the brightness does not dull, as it happens with other models of projectors with less lumens. In addition, thanks to its 2GB of RAM it runs super smooth and will run any format like these images in 4K, even though the projector is only Full HD it scales them perfectly well in 4 Kelvin. I am running these images from the same projector that comes with non-certified Android 9, although there are versions of the T6 Max that come with certified Android TV. There is even a version that integrates a front camera for autofocus called the Wanbo T6 Max Plus, but it costs $460 which makes it very expensive. To have images in full HD quality and well-scaled 4 Kelvin on the projector, I use a certified TV stick, but since the connector of the Wanbo T6 Max is very extreme and gives problems, here you will have to use an HDMI extender. Then in the configuration you choose the input source and it will automatically recognize the TV stick in the maximum supported resolution, since with a TV stick the full resolution of a projector is used. I use my Fire Stick 4 Kelvin Max because I have all my streaming platforms installed on it and so I can test them on each projector. I have Netflix 4 Kelvin, HBO Max, Prime Video and Disney Plus at a very cheap price because I can track them in GAMSGO and in this QR code on the screen and in the description of the video I will leave you the access link for you to enter. I've been doing it for a while year and have never had a problem with these platforms. 
The quality of the images also depends on how the scenes were recorded. Some are a bit cold and dark and others are brighter, so the projection surface plays a very important role. Remember that I am projecting on my white screen and white surfaces are more inefficient because they waste light. Just look at this photo that I took in the dark. You can see how much of the reflected light is lost on the floor, ceiling and walls. You will see later how this is optimized by a reflective gray screen. For an average $300 projector, the brightness is very good. The image looks smooth and delicate and has a cinematic feel. The best thing is that it doesn't tire the eyes and I think it looks very comfortable. I was also positively surprised by the sharpness of this projector, with the image clearly sharper than other Wanbo projectors I've reviewed. In a cheaper projector, the sharpness is good in the center, but it degrades as you get closer to the periphery of the projection. However, that does not happen with this Wanbo T6 Max. Even projecting onto a 100 inches screen, you don't notice particularly noticeable pixelation when you look closer. It is also compatible with HDR10+, so in that aspect the color is very positive. The details of the image are shown in their place and there is no oversaturation and that favors the cinematic experience. All this clear looking from about 6 meters at least. The Wanbo T6 Max remote control, in addition to infrared, can be paired via Bluetooth and it is the only Wanbo control that integrates a microphone button for the voice assistant. Abrir YouTube. Ok, abriendo YouTube. And when the orders are short and concise, it responds and does what is asked of it. Abrir canal Javier Guerrero en YouTube. Lo siento, no te entendí. Although with other longer commands, it does not always succeed. Abrir HBO Max. Perfecto, abriendo HBO Max. Overall, it's not perfect, but it works and will come in handy on many occasions. As for the noise of the fan, the T6 Max has a higher hum, and at 5 cm from the projector it reaches 50 decibels. But luckily it also has good sound power to hide this noise. and with the volume at Taking advantage of the fact that my white screen is very large, I have gathered three of the main Wanbo projector, the Wanbo T2R Max, the Wanbot 4 and I will compare them with their big brother the Wanbo T6 Max. The projectors are installed at the same distance proportional to their projection and with my Lux meter I will measure their brightness power and maximum illumination. You can see how in the T2R Max the brightness is not consistent throughout the screen, but in the corners it loses power and darken. In the case of the Wanbo T4 the effect is very subtle but there is also a slight fading in its corners. While in the Wanbo T6 Max it looks like the brightness is more homogeneous and consistent throughout the screen. Even for the most suspicious, I distributed the projectors in a different way so as not to benefit any of them and to be more fair with the measurement. And in both cases I obtained these results. Numbers don't lie friends and neither do your eyes. It is clear who is the boss of the Wanbo models and because it is the most expensive, it is clearly seen that it surpasses them in brightness and sharpness, as well as in power and fluidity since the Wanbo T6 Max has twice the RAM memory than models previous ones, and it is the only one that has an M-Logic processor, which are generally more reliable in these devices. But despite these images, I think this T6 Max can still be seen better and we will see how to do that. The images that you have seen so far have been on my white screen, but if the Wanbo T6 Max has a disadvantage, it is that it does not have brightness adjustments. It is already configured to offer its maximum brightness and cannot be increased or improved. 
The only way to improve the brightness and quality of the images on this projector is by using a reflective gray cloth and believe me I was surprised by the results. What's more, if you have a Wanbo T6 Max and you don't have a reflective gray cloth, then you don't have a Wanbo T6 Max. Believe it or not, the projector is on and you can see that with all the light in my room, the projection is hardly visible at all. But it is enough to turn the screen and put the gray side and even with the strong light of my room you can see better. Despite the illuminated environment, a gray screen allows me to see the pale projection, but at least it can be seen, but wait and see when I lower the lighting to 60%. Projection is further improved, although these screens are designed to be used in the dark to optimize only the light from the projector and not the ambient light, and therefore see how it looks in the dark. Truly, a much more vivid contrast, and brightness is achieved. Since as these photos show, this fabric does not waste light as a white surface does. In a previous video I told you that this is a special fabric made with reflective threads, whose objective is to reflect light in a unidirectional way. That is, it reflects the light towards the source that emitted it, although it can also be seen at an angle, but better will be seen from the front. Look at the quality and brightness of these images, and here I observed something very particular. The light is really used mainly on the screen. Look that when I cross the light it doesn't reflect much on me. It seems as if the light ignores me and selectively prefers to go to the screen, then to my body. This is a very interesting characteristic. Even on content that is naturally dark like the House of Dragons series, a grey screen will help enhance contrast and colors for a much more immersive cinematic effect. Some people don't like projecting onto a gray screen because they think it reflects too much brightness, saturates colors, etc. Well, that is a matter of taste, but in my opinion, it is much better. If this is how dark content looks like, look at how light content looks like, like Disney Plus animated movies. The result is as if you were practically recording the screen of a large TV, very clear and with high visual impact. Something else I noticed is that the gray screen works much better when projecting on the entire screen because there is more reflected light. With my Wanbo T4 it didn't generate as much reflection because I only projected at 100 inches, whereas right now I'm at 150. It's a pity that the Wanbo T6 Max is only full HD, and by maximizing the screen to 200 inches, it lowers its resolution a bit, although looking at it from 7 or 8 meters, you won't feel much either. For those who still doubt, I recorded these images with my cell phone and see how this gray fabric takes advantage of and reflects light, practically returning 40% of light to the projector. I recorded these scenes with my cell phone so you can see that the projection is real and not edited by my camera. Even with my gray screen, I still need to turn off the lights, but when I give my home theater ideal low light condition, I can achieve projection that is the best of any projector I've used so far. If so far you have liked the characteristics of this fabric and would like to buy it, in the description of the video I leave you the link where I bought it. I personally think that for $30 it's well worth it to upgrade a projector and get images like these. Here the key of the gray fabric is its selectivity with the reflection of light. In these photos that I took during the projection you can see how the white screen reflects light everywhere and is not selective, while the gray fabric reflects it mostly to viewers. I forgot to mention that with regard to taxes, there have been times that they have not charged me at all, as is the case with this projector and other times they have. So I cannot guarantee that they will not charge you if you import this Wanbo T6 Max. If you're lucky, they might not. An excellent projector this Wanbo T6 Max. From such a projector you can live the immersive experience of a home theater thanks to its powerful brightness. And even if you maximize the screen up to 200 inches, you will still have a decent brightness. Good projectors are not cheap and the Wanbo T6 Max is not that cheap. But it is not very expensive either. It is for people who are looking for a medium high quality projector with a budget of $300 and for that price, set up your own home theater. Thanks for getting here.
If you liked this review, give me your like and tell me what you thought of this Wombo T6 Max. Your comment is very valuable for the community. Remember that subscribing is completely free. And if you are not subscribed, please do so now. Help me, and let's democratize technology. Until the next video.